Dang, come it. What? That, that snake is right there. <laughs> Look what we into today. An old 70 model. I don't know what year in the 70s. D4D. I think it's been sitting right here for like four years. And it's for sale. I come out here uh, yesterday, or two days ago before the big rain hit, just to look at it because it's right here close to where the school bus, not the school bus, where the fire truck was. And so I just come looked at it because I was interested in it, maybe if I could buy it. I'm going to show you a picture, and the reason I'm pointing right there is I never noticed that snake that was laying right there till after I had done a walk around and took pictures. And then when I went to get on that serial number, which is right there, you'll see it later, I set my phone right here and was about to step right there, and there he was, he moved. Uh, he scared me a lot worse than I scared him. But it's got a nice winch on it. It's good to have a winch on one. You can bear it down and pull something out if it gets into it. But other than just being a hydraulic up and down, it's all you. It's all manual. Manual uh, tilt, probably a manual transmission. Take a look at these sprockets. I don't know if you know it or not, Jacob, but these are called the sprockets. These are the rails, and these are the pins and bushes. <laughs> they actually feel good. They, uh, there's not a lot of wear on them at all. Rollers look good. He's added the, the protection, the expanded metal on it. But I don't see the snake laying around here. It was just an oak snake. I don't see him around. This track is, you can tell it's been sitting a little while because this track is buried down a little bit. Over the years washing in under it. I'll tell you what, that's, that's got a good undercarriage. Feels like it's a little war more war on this side than it was the other side. It's a new starter. Looks like they've replaced that starter. For sure. Just check the oil in this thing. Put on. Yeah, engine oil was in the that's the uh Yeah, there's some up. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That looks good. Plenty of fuel in it. Still got the little 
stick in it. Yeah. Plenty of fuel. I do not see the hour meter here. There's the serial number. Hopefully you can see that. If you can't, I'll put a text with the correct serial number. I don't see the hour meter. I'm guessing this is what a little bit of hydraulic oil it uses is in here. Yeah, it's got it's got plenty of hydraulic oil in it. Huh? You see it? I see the tail. Oh, howdy. Woo, yeah, I see him. That's the same one. There he goes. <laughs> you jumping? Yeah, I don't like him, Jacob. He's coming he, out the side. He's see? not just going to shoot out that That's fast. That's him. That's the same one for yesterday. Man. It's a little cool for him. They just make me hurt myself. I just don't like them. Man. If I see them, if I see them before they see me, I'm okay. We'll give him some of that to smell. That'll get him going. He won't be able to stand that. Jacob, if you'll back the truck up right here. We'll probably leave that big battery in it and just hook the jumper cables to it and try to crank it up. That's good. It's not too cold out here, but the glow plugs certainly do help. But we're just gonna try to hook it uh, off these two batteries we have back here. We have this old big in here, and then we have the other one, and we'll just hook hook them together here, and then run it, run the jumper cables to the starter right there, and crank this up, and won't have to tote batteries in and out of that cage where the snake is. It ain't saying I'm scared of snakes. I'm just saying I don't like to mess with them, as they don't want to be messed with. It's just an oak snake. <laughs> I know it. Still make old man hurt himself. All right, what I'm gonna do first is make sure. Where are these going? Yeah, I do. Hang on, I want to make sure that the because uh, we're gonna put it we're gonna put it hot here, and I don't want the hot up there to be touching anything. But hang on, just a second. This is ground. ground that's hot maybe that's the bleeder maybe it don't have a point See if we got any contact anyway. This thing probably start right up.
Okay. That ain't working. Great. This don't crank. A switch? Yeah. Yeah. Hold it. Hold it. Uh, your throttle is right there. Yeah. Bring it back some. Just up and down. Yeah. All right, pull it back that to you. Pull it the other way. Okay. Okay. They're not venomous. Still make me hurt myself. They had a can of ether in it, so I'm just assuming it was up here for a reason. See, when we're putting the heat you can see the battery. Okay. That thing should bust right off. Glad it did switch off. Where was that coming from? I don't know. Let's go check the motor and see if it did. It didn't come down some jacket. I thought it was kind of right in that area at first. Damn, come it. What? That, that snake is right there. See it there behind the engine? This is the serpent. You don't get it. Leave that thing alone.
Yeah, it's in there. This is the best part of the video. Come on now. Hey, let me have the camera. I don't want to break him in two. Yeah, he's, he's he's going back in there. Come on. He going to get back. Yeah. Yeah, he's gonna he <laughs> he wasn't gonna let me grab him. Oh boy. We had it running and it, it switched off, but we noticed this right here when I come over here to check it. Puddling right there. And I, it, it just looks like motor oil. Mm -hmm. But here's the oil pressure line here that's not, you know, damaged or leaking. Uh -huh. The first time we met Jacob was over there at the uh, tractor show in Moultrie, Georgia. Hank and I did. But Jacob come out here, not the Jake, not my son Jacob, but the other Jacob that uh, works for the man, and he found it. It's, the rats has uh, eat the oil pressure line, and that's where it was coming to. So all we got to do is just plug that up. That's maybe that uh, snake is hunting those rats. Maybe he took care of them for you. <laughs> And he didn't want to leave. He made me hurt myself twice. He was pretty big. He was a big one. I see he was right here. I'll show you on there. He ain't left yet. This is his territory. <laughs> this broke off, but he may have turned the fuel off. Well, I believe that's what it is because I've got that line loose and no fuel. And so you done cranked it one time? Yes, sir. Was it hard to crank it? No, it sir. Up pretty quick. We, we, we gave it just a little hen of ether and. The... So there ain't no, wasn't no water getting in on No, sir. No water at all. There wasn't no water on top of the fish. No. All right. Good deal. Good deal. The rain cap worked. Rain cap did its job. It's going to be under your seat, we, like you said. <laughs> and then put it on what you call YouTube? Yes, sir. Uh, Is there a rat's nest in there? Walls. Huh? Walsh nest. Walsh nest. <laughs> we are in this off 24. This old Dodger's got good rails on it. It does. That's what I was telling Jacob. Like I say, I don't think it's been used that much because there's no forestry dodger. Let's see what it'll do. <clears throat> Jacob, how about you uh, getting in there and working the key? And I stay out here where I can do the. All right, try that. What did I do with my can? That one just comes out. That one don't spray that. It just comes out liquid. Need something to mess it with. Here, Look at that. right that here. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> Here you go, Jacob. <laughs> Get him, Jacob. He's coming to you. He's coming under the... Oh. No, he's coming up the top, Jacob. That's killing rat snake. <laughs> he's on this side. You can, he's, he's right on top. He's just getting... He's probably kept the rats from eating the slam up. He probably has. I'm just Don't gonna... kill him, because he won't hurt you. Just make you hurt yourself, won't he? Yeah, I was trying to pull him out well, earlier. Let him stay here and eat these rats. Yeah. Come to Those tails right here. But, he, but he, he's in there, he, he, he's gonna fight. Yeah. I don't wanna rip him. Okay, there it is, right there, you found it. Yeah. All right. 
Yeah. Ain't that something where they can just get somewhere and just... Okay, Jacob. Okay, Jacob. I just spin it over just a little bit and let's see if that pushing air. Okay. Oh. You see him, Jacob? Yeah. Are you getting him? He he's going inside the uh tracks. This thing. That's all right. He's out of the engine compartment anyway. Yeah, he's right here. But he's he's strong. He got he got a lot. He's gone though. <laughs> all, right. all right, let's try to start it. He's good. As long as he ain't right here. Yeah, he's in this track now. <laughs> It's just full of air.
about that oil line. They're holding the little line. I think we just got it in gear then. I'm gonna put it, I'm just gonna bump the starter and see if it'll roll. I've got it where it wants. He's gonna bump the starter and see if it'll start. Yeah. Oh yeah, it'll roll, it's, it's in gear. It'll go forward and backwards. Hey, that's, yeah, okay. We might have something now. <laughs> Let's see what happens.
what they were there. Pull it back. Okay. They give him. There you go. There they go. Jacob. Really, just knocking the rust off of it. It ain't been run about four years. That's got to be fixed. Yes, sir. I don't know how to fix that. That's the reason I had it turned off. Tell you what, it runs pretty good, don't it? it runs real good. It was for sale until we started it, but the man said it runs good and it's going to keep it. And that's okay. Thank y'all for watching. And remember, don't do that.